Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, this is your brother Isa Ma. Welcome to another episode of the Ramadan series, Motivations. So in the previous videos, hopefully, by the, by the mercy of Allah, I have successfully utilized some ahadith and some stories to motivate you to recite the Qur'an more frequently and to do more dhikr and istighfar. Today's video, inshallah, will be about seeking knowledge. I hope I can motivate you to seek knowledge. Now, I think we are all aware that knowledge is very important in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim innama yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al-ulama. He says, indeed, among the slaves of Allah, only the ulama, those who have knowledge, can truly and completely fear him. He also said, وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّا بِهِ كُلُّمْ مِعِنْدِ رَبِّنَا it is those who are absorbed in knowledge, those who are 100% entirely soaked in knowledge, they are the ones that, that say we have completely believed in the revelation, all of it is from our Lord. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a relation between knowledge and Iman, and he also made a, a relation between knowledge and khushu' uh, uh, and khashiyah, uh, knowledge and fear. So obviously it is important for us as believers to seek knowledge in order to improve our iman and to improve our khashiya, improve our fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what can I offer you as a motivation to seek knowledge? It is a companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa by the name of Abdullah ibn al-Abbas radiallahu anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. Now, Abdullah ibn al-Abbas radiallahu anhu has several nicknames. One of them is Scholar of the Ummah. He's called the Scholar of the Ummah. Another nickname is Al-Bahar, the ocean, describing how much knowledge he has. He is indeed a very uh, all-rounded, versatile scholar. His house used to be called a university, basically a jamia, uh, because he had a timetable. Time People would come to visit him, to inquire him about something, to learn from him, to ask him questions, and the street outside his house used to be congested, so he, ha he had to make a timetable. You know, on this day I will teach Quran, and then another day Hadith, another day Fiqh, etc. So that's how much knowledge Abdullah ibn Abbas had. Uh, he is not only knowledgeable as a Sahabi, he is knowledgeable among the Sahaba. So even the other companions of the Prophet والسلام, recognized his amount of knowledge, and they used to go to him uh, to study. Now, where did he get all of this knowledge? It was not miraculously delivered to him. He diligently and actively sought this knowledge. So I want to share with you a story about Abdullah ibn Abbas عن, that might motivate you and me to seek knowledge. After the Prophet ﷺ passed away, uh, obviously uh, there are many, many Sahaba who have had interactions with the Prophet ﷺ and they may have heard different narrations from the Prophet ﷺ. Abdullah ibn Abbas عن, made a point to try to grasp every single narration that he can get in touch with. So whenever he hears that so-and-so, this person, has heard a narration from the Prophet وسلم, that he has never heard, he would go to visit this person just so that he can get to know that hadith. And sometimes, you know, people are working and he doesn't get to meet them in work time, so he would go at noon time, which for the Arabs back then was the nap time, was qilula, you know, rest time. It was extremely hot at that time, but he would go at this noon hot time and when he, when he went to a person's house this was narrated that the person's house was uh, locked because he was sleeping so he waited outside he didn't knock, knock the door he didn't want to disturb this person that he was going to take knowledge from he waited at the doorstep until this person woke up came out and saw Abdullah ibn Abbas at the doorstep and he was very shocked he said Ya ibn Amir Rasulullah oh the cousin of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam if you wanted anything from me, you could have just sent someone to ask me. You know, you are the cousin of the Messenger of Allah. I would have come to you for anything that you need from me. And the following sentence, the reply from Abdullah ibn Abbas عن, is the motivation for today. And I hope you remember this sentence. He said, Knowledge is sought and it doesn't seek. In other words, people have to go to knowledge and knowledge will not come to people. We have to be active in our pursuit of knowledge, in our seeking of knowledge. Uh, you cannot wait for knowledge to come to you. Although you may say that we are living in a time of information, there's literally a information overflow. Information is everywhere. You, op you, know, you open your social media platform and you see all kinds of knowledge sharing here and there. But still, 
if you want to truly, you know, internalize knowledge and, and you know, make knowledge benefit you, you have to go out of your way. You need to make an effort. You need to step on a journey to seek knowledge, to find knowledge, you know, to uh, tire yourself in the journey of seeking knowledge. Uh, and hopefully, Abdullah ibn al-Abbas can be a role model for all of us. Uh, we can learn from him. We can, you know, consciously and, and voluntarily go out of our way to seek knowledge in order to improve our relationship with the Qur'an. And this month, you know, what better time to start seeking knowledge than the month of Ramadan? Start seeking knowledge this month by reading books, watching lectures, by going to people who have more, more knowledge, um, by, you know, all kinds of uh, ways that can grant you more knowledge. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us more beneficial knowledge, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefit us by the knowledge we already have. Hopefully you are motivated. Stay tuned for stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.